Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. Now, I am going, I've just cheated in this uh, matter fabricator because there should be a way of getting this anyway from the quests. So if I look at the quests again, just 252 billion RFs, that's not a big deal, so we can get that, done that. Which would have been, so now we don't need that one, number one energy, what do we have to do for this? That's the matter fabricator. Now, can I actually detect this quest without it crashing? Let's just see. No, I'll claim it. I don't, I don't need to worry about that one, actually. But there was another quest for that one. Let's go back to this. Uh, oh, no, sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Done. Stars align. Let's... Okay, so now we've got a matter fabricator. So we need to now need to make some UU matter. So let's go and put this down. Between episodes, I've also done something else. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it down. I suppose here will be fine. Yes, put onto that, and that should get power. What's it want? EU. Okay, if it wants EU, then I'm not. I can't use. That doesn't make sense. So, so look, it's got no power in there. What was this for? Is this for scrap? I think this is scrap, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's go and see what we can do with it. Because we've got no shortage of scrap now, as you can see. Six scrap. I've got a feeling that's what this is all about. Nope, there's no progress. Okay, let's pick it up. Need to use the electric wrench, of course, because it's a, one of those machines. Ah, yes, that might be the problem. Let's put it down here. Actually, that didn't use up much, too much power this time, that's good. That seems to be okay. Oh yes, that's working this time. Minus one. <laughs> okay, and the centrifuge here, I can remove that scrap. So basically what I want to put into this is scrap. So let's get into the scrap. So let's just go, um, where is it now? I need to go upstairs and get some E, some blocks. Some strange clicks actually in the audio at the moment. Now, what do I want? I want, take one of those. I suppose this will go down very fast when I start to do this. We need an export bus. This one will do, I think. And we need some acceleration cards if I haven't got any at the moment. I think I haven't. Cost that very good. Well, I've only got three. So, I'm not 100% sure about this, I will be honest. So, I'm sure somebody will tell me. So, let's put on top of this now the export bus. like that and let's export scrap into that at full speed like that let's see what happens well it's getting enough in it but I'm not exactly sure what's going to go and happen here it seems strange I'm not even sure it needs power 1% minus 1% doesn't make any sense, does it? Oh, well, I'll leave that running. Because there's no other uses for scrap, by the way. If you look at the uses of this one, all you can do is turn it into fertilizer for the industrial industrial craft fertilizer. And I'm not sure if there's an, anything in the industrial craft for, for the fertilizer. It might be disabled. So we'll look. No. I have to do at. Energy map minor, solid heat generators. Does it have a farmer? Terra 
before my personal safe. And that's got nuclear generators and the like. Plot cutting machines. Crop harvester. Oh, that's actually a recipe. We could actually make a crop harvester. Because that uses crops, which is just sticks. Okay, well, maybe we'll do that in the next episode. The other thing we probably want to go look at is making some of this quantum armor, which isn't actually, strangely enough, that difficult. Iridium plates. Where do we get iridium from? Iridium alloy ingots which is just iridium plus diamond dust. Diamond dust, no big deal, iridium. Now where do we get iridium from? Can we make it? Okay, we're not getting any iridium, I don't think. That fusion reactor. Okay, lithium plus that in a fusion, a fuston reactor will give us iridium more, okay. One view, you matter, fantastic. Right. Well, that's all going on. Let's go back now. I think the you matter takes a lot of power, and I think it takes a lot of other stuff as well. So what we want to do now is we want to go to our next planet. This is all set up. We've got the return scroll set up again. The warp stone set up. Don't need this. I'd like to keep the red ender chest on me and the weapon and I've got a feeling I'm going to have to make a better a better weapon than we've got at the moment we've got some fuel actually the rocket's in here isn't it we need a rocket launch plate and some fuel let's go and get this all filled up mind you have to admit it's still very funny seeing that uh, Redstone lamps, and I still haven't done anything about them. Put the rocket down, get it fueled up. That shouldn't be a problem. Yep. The fuel doesn't seem to use that much fuel when we're doing this stuff, does it? So it's going down a bit. I just noticed it go down. It says it's inactive, so let's get in the rocket. We've got plenty of oxygen, I know that. Let's just check the fuel. 72% full. What's bothering me is where is ellipse? Okay, let's go find out where ellipse is if we can. I don't think it's just that. I just don't know where it is, to be honest with you. And I'm pretty sure it must be around because the recipe is for it, so. We'll check the other planets. We went through from Pluto to Jupiter last time, didn't we? We'll go the other way this time. And I don't think there's another galaxy. We could have a look and see if there's another galaxy. But I'd be very surprised if we could travel to anywhere else. So we did Jupiter and we zoomed into that one. Click again to, to zoom in. And we find our other three. So what have we got here? We've got... Uh, we have to click one of them, don't we? So we've got... Is it Calisto, Calisto Europa and... IO. We went to Reopa last time. So we've got a choice of those two, but let's go. Say it says Solar System, Milky Way. And I don't think we have any choices for different systems. Mercury, let's have a look at Mercury. There's nothing around there. Venus, there's nothing around there. The overworld, we've got our two moons. Mars, we've just basically got Mars. And the asteroids, which we're not going to go to yet because we need a reasonably good armour for that one, 
is there Jupiter there are three we've seen Saturn has just got Saturn as far as I can see Uranus is just Uranus Neptune is just Neptune and Pluto is just Pluto so let's go then to this one IO click again to zoom and then we can launch so this time we don't need to do anything because we've got a parachute and again it's just normal it's during the day we're on a very yellow planet so as soon as we've landed we can get out a quick look around there's a, there's a little base like place so let's click in here let's take the rocket and the lap and the launch pads let's take the fuel again it does that okay then we can just break the bubble probably not with the rocket though let's put the rocket away landing balloons nope there we go so let's go over here and get our, our pickaxe out of course Oh, modes is on five. So I think he will do as a good starting point. Let's click into our way to here. So we do have some more minerals in here, and I think it looks like sulfur. Now we can make a reasonable size hole in here. That's great. That's all we need to do. So we can then cover this up wall this in there as it were let's get uh, super builders wand in let's just control click that across there in fact let's just what have we got most of this one surface rock let's just put the surface rock down just make a quick encased room good what's the gravity like oh it's quite low good so we'll just fill this in like this I think we'll just do it like yeah that'll do for our for our base let's just make sure this is down what yeah that'll do fine let's come out here and mark the base as base and save that and let's put down the red core the, the red and the chest as usual and we need a waystone so let's put the waystone down we're on planet io aren't we so that's good oh, what did i just do never mind i put the waystone down a heal we find actually Okay, now we need to activate the waystone. Let's take us a return scroll. Because I have got the, the warp stone with me, so that's fine. Let's break this up again now because we need this. So well, now we need the usual stuff. We can put these back. We don't need those for now. We need the quarry. We don't need the end of chests. We'll take a that with us. We don't need the rocket bits. Let's sort that out. We just want a plain ender chest, good. Quarry, yes, and a sterling generator. I think that's all we need. So let's go out. Oh, I need some markers. Which I've got with me, and I need one of those. Good. So the usual thing. Let's just put the quarry down here. Looks like a good place. Of course, it puts it down like that, which is not what I want. Never mind. We'll put down the marker down here. Actually, it probably is okay. Now, let's put the marker down here. And put the redstone torch here. So now we've got a more sensible place to go to. Well, let's just get the clock, because I only don't know how fast time moves on this planet. So let's, let's get that out of the way. And also get this. So we've got the, good, the RR pickaxe. So it looks like this is a lava based planet uh, planet as well so 
So we should be able to pick up lava if we wanted it from here. I'm not sure what, if there's any use for any of the other materials. We'll go try going over this, I think. Well, maybe around it's quicker. Now, what's happened to our... Oh, we're probably too far away now. We're probably around about here, actually. Let's go down and see if we can find the marker. Oh, can't find it. Where's it gone to? Well, there's certainly caves. I don't really want to be in caves at the moment. Oh, good jump. So where has it gone to? Well, base is over there, and I set it up just around about base. Well, it's me in fault. I really should have done the marker down here. Look, let's just go down here with some, so we can find the marker down here. I didn't also check what level it was, which is also not so bright. I reckon we've got to go down further as it happens. Well, that's uh, can't be. It must be past here. Let's go and check what level it is. Okay. So it's level 90. That's quite deep in this. What level are we at now? 96. 94. <laughs> right, should be here. In one of these two directions. That's strange. Oops. That's very strange. I don't understand that at all. Let's just do that one. I should be able to get out of this because the gravity is fairly low. Let's go down. <laughs> Ooh. Nice x-ray vision then. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Let's go across this way a bit. This will do us an end point. One more back here, I think. We can put the marker on here like this. So let's put that in place number four. Press by simply highlighting it and pressing four. And there we go. Right. It might actually be a sensible idea to turn off my magnet. Let's do that. Let me get rid of this. Let it all drop down there. Let's get the RR pickaxe again. In fact, I can't see the vertical line, so I don't know why I had such difficulty finding the, the end of that marker. So we'll just go over here a bit. Is that a cut off? No. That's a really good shape, look at that. Avoid the lava pools, we don't need to fall into those. So it's down here somewhere. Ah yes, I can see the line. I think he will do. Let's put the other marker down here like that. I can turn on the magnet actually. Let's pick up the stuff that has actually been dropped. Do we get a stack? I 
let's go back to base that's a quick way of course do the usual setup for the quarry then we'll see what we get this quarry will be slightly interesting because of the way it's I've set it up it's a bit low so it'll make a big hole in things and leave a sort of a, a nice dark area underneath it for the mobs to spawn but there we are that's just life don't want to use that one, I'm going to use this one. I don't want to make that same mistake again. Right click this, good. Let's remove the quarry. I can use this with the, yeah, it does work. Let's put down the quarry. I want that, oh, where's the corn growing? Here we are. Let's put that in number four. Put the quarry down here. Good. Let's put to the side of the quarry the sterling generator. That'll start to power up the quarry. Let's put to the side of here the other end of chest, this one here. So let's get this now to pull from the left hand side. Like that. And then let's put the center chest on the top of this. And that's the job done, I think. For that, we're getting some lots of all coming in now. Now the next thing we need to do is just check chunk boundaries are fine. I don't think I need a chunk loader in this one because they're all in the same chunk as the quarry, which is good. I could even probably check that beforehand, but we'll put one down just in case I've got it wrong. Like that. Press F9. And that's it. Let's just tidy this up a little oh I've got lots of rock on me haven't done let's get rid of this rock I've got on me don't need any of it I'll pick up some other stuff when I'm doing that it's funny so that's it for this particular task so I've got some more stuff floating around where's it gone to go away and I didn't use this status checker yet now the status checker I believe is something to do with the boundaries of this but maybe I just right click on the on the quarry, so it tells me what it says. Now working in quarry mode, no enchantments. Ah, okay. Now, that is something I haven't done yet, and that's to enchant the quarries. So I'll put down a rock piece of rock here. Oops. And I really should be doing that because that makes them go faster and uses less power. Well, power we don't really care about because it's all coming from carbon and we've got stacks of carbon so in the meantime let's go back home so you see now Mars range moon and mining IO base moon base and Europa base let's go back to moon base so that's done let's see how we're doing with our EU matter if we've got any or any at all because we, we would be able to complete that quest I know this is quite a, a long-winded one as far as I understand two wow now what else while we're here let's have a look at any uses of this IO stone if it's got no uses we might as well stick it in there to for you your matter well I don't see any uses for that what about this one that's IOs again is it IO subsurface, okay, good. So let's go along here. Let's put a capacity card in. Oh. I'll just take one of these out. So we can put some IO stone in there. That should then come into here fairly fast. Oh, yeah, perfect. So we don't need any of this. Like that. Get rid of it all. Let's go and have a look. We've probably got a load of stuff actually we can get rid of. I'm sure it's all to do with you, you matter. Because here I've got. Look at the state of this. Absolutely tons of Mars cobblestone. Where's the other bit? There's two more. Full. That one. And this one's full. Resonant caches. And I can remove this one now actually. Don't need this. 
because that's actually already full and the same is probably true over here and I had another export bus on one of these and I haven't anymore oh actually I have these two are actually export buses I'm just exporting it out because we've got so much of it and there's no point in turning it to water anymore because we've got better ways of doing that so we could use the magna crystal with the uh, Europa stone we've got 94k which I think each one of these is one bucket, five buckets of water, so that's a lot of water. So we don't need to worry about water. Um, ellipse we haven't found. So if I look for, I haven't got any. Of course, that's the wrong place to look. So this is a four space ellipse, exoplanets ellipse. I don't know where it is. What do you know? Let me know because we've got I'm not sure we've got anything unduly useful in this lot, but maybe it's related to I think the surface rock cobblestone. If I remember rightly, this is the one that gives you a lot of fuel. Oh no, which is the one that gives you fuel then? Let's have a look at it the other way around. Let's go and look for oil. And we want a bucket of oil. Let's find out the recipes for this. Moon dirt. That's what we know about that one. Ellipse cobblestone. But where do we find ellipse cobblestone? Anyway, I think that's for another time. That's why we're doing this. Let's have a look. Because this is going to take a long time to get this UU matter. So we've only got two units used all of this up already. So that's what, what else we got? Cobblestone, Mars cobblestone. Let's use that. Oh, okay, that's been exported into here. So whatever else happens, it doesn't really matter that much. We've got some Mars cobblestone now. I'm not sure if I've got to maintain this. Con Continuously before it gives the EU matter. Maybe somebody can tell me if they do know the answer to that one. It, it's weird that this percentage shine shows up as zero. Or maybe it's just scrap I've got to use. Because this doesn't seem to be doing anything now. So maybe that's wrong. Let's go back over here. Now, where is the. Um, the recycler. It's the assembly machine. Oh, I did create some new some recipes for the assembly machine. I created a drum, and I also created a an empty cell. Now this is a tech reborn empty cell, and if you've not seen the recipe for this, it's very expensive. Well, it's nowhere near as expensive as. Um, Let's have a little empty cell. There we go. So we've got two. You've got an industrial craft empty cell and a tech reborn empty cell. The tech reborn empty cell is one set of tin casing. That's not too bad. That's basically um, 16 pieces of tin gone through the metal former twice and a drum. Now the drum is, look at this. Eight blocks of lead plus 30 blocks of iron, which isn't too bad, but the assembly machine itself is really slow. In fact, I think I got I went and got some more overclockers for this. Oh, yeah, I've made 12 overclockers. We can try putting those into here and see if it, anything goes faster. Oops, wrong one. Let's see if it goes in there, fine. And here is what the recycling machine. Okay, this is interesting. Let's not going fast enough. Let's speed this up a bit. So still actually not going fast enough. Okay, what I've got to do in that case is this will come into here and won't give me anything. I don't think. 
obviously one piece of scrap every once in a while so let's just turn this scrap off here so nothing's going to get exported into there I let the scrap build up in the system here of course it's getting taken and removed straight away it's actually quite strange I'm a bit surprised about that it's not coming in faster because we've got so much so much in stock there I just don't know why it's not pulling it out as immediately mm, never mind okay well that's another visit to another planet there's one more that I know about which maybe we'll go to and not I don't think we'll go there next time we'll do something else anyway until then I'm going to say bye for now